So today, the Nordcast crew, or just me and Carter, are going to be tier ranking each team's NHL offseason so far. So, obviously, free agency is not over yet, according to uh, free agency and the NHL. But 98% of the moves that are going to happen have already happened. If there's something else that, that happens after this, maybe we'll do this again, but probably not. So... We're going to be grading each team's offseason based off of five columns. A, B, C, D, and F. So basically just regular school grades. So we got the Anaheim Ducks here to start off. The Ducks didn't do too much. Um, they obviously didn't really re-sign or sign anybody of note. And they also um, drafted Beckett Seneca and Stan Solberg in the first round of the draft. So Carter... Would you say I'm thinking I'm thinking C. I think season average one for for those who didn't do any moves. I think that's I think that's a right spot to put teams. What do you what do you think? Yeah, I think you know, I think without the draft, I think I'd put them in D. Um, but I really like Beckett's uh Senec or Seneca, whichever one however you pronounce it, and Stan Solbo Solberg is he's he's a he's a great player too. So I I, I think I think they're kind of, I think they're a good baseline, you know? Yeah. I think yeah. I think giving it them they're kind of good good draft picks. Yeah, I, I I think that's fair. Boston Bruins they they selected Dean Latorno. I'm a big fan of that. They also signed Elias Lindholm, Nikita Zadorov, amongst others. I'm trying to think who else they signed. They also made the Linus Olmark trade, which didn't look too great in their mark, but they did they did draft Latorno. So Carter, where where are we putting Boston here? I think. I think I'm going in the B column, B for Boston. Yeah, I don't, I don't mind, I don't mind the moves they made. Um, yeah, they made some great signings. Obviously, they don't really have much draft capital, so it's kind of hard. But it's kind of hard for them to make too many uh, draft day decisions. So yeah, I like that. All right, B for Boston, Buffalo. Oh my God, what did Buffalo do? Um. I... I don't even know. Hang on a second. They, they traded, so they traded Matthew Savoy. Yes, uh, they did do that. That looks like a flop. Um, I that's... really don't. I really don't like that move one bit for Buffalo. I think that's a great move for Edmonton. Um, when we get to them, um, that who did they draft? They um, signed. Uh, they 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 drafted Consta Hellenius. They signed Jason oh. Hinker, Sam Lafferty, Abe Kubel. Um, they signed, uh, James Reimer. I don't know. I think, I think it'd be a C. Does the Savoy trade move that down to a D though? I wouldn't. So I think without the Savoy trade, I think I'd put them at a B, but with the Savoy trade, I'd move them down to a C. You think so? Yeah. Yeah. That's fine. I think that, I think it'd be a low C though. They wouldn't be, uh be a pretty low seed because i because i really like that consta pick yeah i like the, i like the hellenius pick too he did draw he did drop in a steal the calgary flames they were active they had a really good draft they drafted Perrick. they drafted um who else did they draft uh Perrick, matt they greed in who else did, uh, i think that's it they drafted a couple other guys later in the rounds that looked great um so they made some solid picks. Um, they signed a lot of guys too. They signed uh Anthony Mantha, they signed Devin Cooley, they signed Ryan Lomberg, re-signed Sharon Govich. They made a few other moves too. Um, I feel like they did they did a pretty decent job. I give them a B, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah, I'd I'd go with B. Carolina Hurricanes, they lost a lot. Um, they lost a lot of players. They did sign some guys. They signed Walker. They signed Goss Bear. They signed um a few other guys too. I'm not sure to be honest. Um, I think I'd put them in B still, but they did lose a lot of guys. So what what do you think? So I think they lost some guys, I think, which really does suck for them. Um, but I think they made the right additions, especially to try and create some cap room for Seth Jarvis. 
it's going to come down to what what happens with him as well as what happens with Marty Natchez. Um, that's really what's going to set set them apart here. So I'd put them at C, and then depending on what happens with those signings, um, I think I think they'll have to. I think that could bump them up or move them down. I think they'd be a high C in my yeah. opinion. Probably a high C. Chicago Blackhawks. They signed Bertuzzi. They signed Maroon. They brought in. They brought back Tara Vinen. There's a few other moves they made. Um, I did like who they drafted. I liked Vonaker. I liked the Levshinov pick. I think you go. I think you go B here as well. Yeah. Honest. So we're getting a lot of A's and B's um, on this list here. Colorado Avalanche. Um, what did Colorado do? I don't even, they traded, I think they traded their first, um, in the draft. They didn't do a ton. Um, they don't, they don't have a, like any cap room either. So. They signed Eric Brandstrom. Parker Kelly. A lot of their guys, they signed Calvin DeHaan. I'd throw them in D. Yeah. They didn't do a lot though. That's the thing. Probably yeah. the Columbus Blue Jackets. They signed Monahan. They drafted Lindstrom. What do you think? I I just can't believe they took Lindstrom over. Uh, what, where you, was it? It's not Levshinov. Right? No, Levshinov was a defenseman. Who is the forward? The Russian. Demidov, right? Yeah. I still can't believe that Demidov was on the board and they didn't take him. Yeah, I don't, I don't know, but I think Lindstrom will still be good, though. I agree, but like, I still think that Demidov was is better than Lindstrom. Now, I did have him going forth, but I also did not think that Lind that Demidov would fall to five. But, yeah, I, I don't know. Where, where do you think we should put him? I think C, B. Maybe. I feel like B would be fair. I think I like the Lidstrom pick. Demidoff at five is a steal, but I like the Lidstrom pick, and I like the Monahan signing. Y- you know, yeah, I guess because I guess if we're kind of looking at um, Anaheim as a baseline, I did have a Monahan signing too. So yeah, I I'd throw him B, but like a lower B in my opinion. Yeah. Dallas Stars. Um, what did Dallas do? Re signed Duchesne, which I think is really good. Yeah, they re signed Duchesne. They they brought in they actually they brought in Matt Dumba. They brought in um Colin Blackwell, Kyle Kyle Capo Bianco, they brought in Casey DeSmith as a backup. I would say I would say high C. Maybe low B. I'd, I'd throw him C. Yeah, I think I'd go C as well. Detroit, I think Detroit's a D. Maybe even an, I don't know about an F, but I think Detroit's a D. What do you yeah. think? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, 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 not a whole heck of a lot. Okay. All right. Oilers, I think this is our first A. I love what the Oilers did. They signed Skinner to a great deal, they brought in Matt Savoie for basically. McLeod. Um, they also signed Brown. They re-signed Yanmark. They brought in Arvidsson for a good deal. Brought in Skinner for a good deal. I think this is an A. I agree. I agree. I will say I was kind of questioning their uh well, I mean, it doesn't really affect me that much because I don't really care. I'm really happy, but I'm shocked that they traded their first in this upcoming in the 2025 draft for Literally the last first round pick, like because yeah, that they're pretty much weird. they're pretty much banking on them being like we're going we're winning the cup next year and like this will be pretty much the exact same pick. I think it's top ten protected, but it's still like I thought it's I think it's lottery. Oh, is it? Is it really? I have no idea. I can't remember the exact. It might be best. top sixteen. I'm not. I'm not hundred percent sure. There'll be a playoff team next year, regardless. Florida. Florida re-signed Reinhardt. 
They re-signed Kulikov. They'd lost a lot of guys, but really it wasn't really that big of a deal, the guys they lost. I think just for them winning a cup, you give them a B plus, maybe even an A. What do you think? Yeah, I really, I, I think I'd, I'd move him up to an A. I really like that Ryan Hart deal. Like, he could have got 10 mil elsewhere, but you were able to talk him into staying, I'm assuming, because right after winning a cup, I think you don't win a cup there. I don't think Ryan Hart's staying for that much. I think if he does stay, it's going to be 925 or 995, somewhere in there. So. Yeah, I'm looking at it. They didn't really didn't sign anyone. So I think a B is fair. Yeah. Los Angeles Kings, they signed Edmondson, they signed Fogel. The the both those deals were kind of overpays though. Um what else did they do? They shipped PLD off for Kemper. That I think could be a good deal. That I think could go well for them. Yeah. I agree. But I still cannot believe that they <laughs> gave up on him after. Yeah. I, I I would go with, what do you think? Go, B or C? I, or, I'd go C. B or D. C or D is what I meant, not B or C. Uh, Minnesota Wild, they brought in Trennan on an overpay. It's about all I can they brought They they drafted Bouillon. That was good. Um, That's about all I can think of, though. I'd go B. Yeah, I think I'd go B as well. I'm not really entirely sure. Who else they signed? My memory's not great at this 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 hour. Um, they signed Chisholm. They re-signed Middleton. Yeah, I think Trenton was really the only big signing they made. Yeah, I think they had a lot of good. They 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 signed a lot, or they they signed they they drafted a lot of good guys too. They brought Boyum. They brought Kivi Haru, who was a project, projected to be a high pick. Montreal, I think you go A. They had a great draft. They've done awesome. They have more firsts coming. I think you give them an A. I think they're one of the teams that goes up an A. Even though they didn't do a lot in the free agency, they still, I think they were still spectacular. New yeah. Jersey, I think, or New Jersey, Nashville, I think you give them an A as well. Yep, yeah, back-to-back A's. It's not even a question. We don't even have to discuss it. No. Stamkos, Marshall Salt, Shea, we talked about earlier in the episode, just terrific. Uh, New Jersey. Good mark. Good trade on the Markstrom deal. I don't I like, the like the, signing. I don't know why they traded Holtz though. Yeah, but I feel like they're trying to make room for I I guess because Holtz maybe wanted out. I think that was it. I think that was the reason why. But it wasn't like they gave up a lot for him though, or they they traded or wait. They, I don't think they, they got, got enough him. in return for Alexander Holtz. Bro. I don't know. I really don't like that Holtz deal a lot, and that's really like keeping me down low on them because I like the Markstrom deal, but I hate that Holtz deal. So I'll let, I'll let you take this one because if it was up to me, I'd throw them in D, but that's just with me. Cause I, I love Alexander Holtz. I think he's a great player. I think it's a B minus. I, I think it's a, I, I, I honestly, I think it's a B. I, th- I think that the Markstrom deal is great. I like the Pesci signing. The only bad thing was the, the Holtz deal. Oh, I forgot about Pesci. Yeah, you're right. I think I think they're a B, hundred percent. I, I would have thrown them in C, but I, I can understand your your thing on B. Islanders signed Duclair, drafted Iserman. I, I I think that they're I think they're B. I'd they're say C. Yeah, but they'd be a high C though. They really couldn't do a lot. So it's so it's not like they don't they don't have a lot of cap room. Really. Yeah. But I but but I do like what they did. I, I do like the moves they made. I like the Duclair. I think that that's perfect. He's a great great cap. I also think too that the Iserman could be a steal. So honestly, I like the moves. The Rangers they really couldn't do much either. I think we also put the Rangers in C. Um, let me look at what the Rangers did. They did draft EJ Emery. I thought that was a good move. Yeah. Um. They got they got Riley Smith from Pittsburgh. Um, they got rid of Goudreau. Honestly, maybe a B. Yeah, because they they made some good moves. Um, I don't think that. Uh, yeah, I think a B. Honestly, Ottawa. Ottawa got Olmark. They drafted Yakumchuk. They got Amadio. They got Perron. 
think they did something. They hired Travis Green as their head coach. That's what, that's what we're forgetting about, too. They We forgot some of these guys hired coaches. Um, Ottawa, I would go B. Yeah, I, I agree. B. Great. I like that Olmark trade a lot. They really didn't give up too much for him. Yeah, they did a good job. Philadelphia, I think, is a a a, a C. The Chikrin deal, I forgot about that. Yeah, but I think they were their hands were tied with Chikrin. Yeah. Okay. Then I'll 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 let you stick with that. I'll, if their I'll hands weren't tied, and that's what they got. I think I'd move them to a C because that was a steal for that's Washington. That's true. That's true. I'll I'll let you. I'll let you go. I'll let you take the wheels with Philly here. Are we counting play. ELCs being signed? Yes. A I plus. Ah, oh, come on. I'm come kidding. On. I'm kidding. Um, they really didn't do much in free agency, so it's hard to really say. Um, I do. I like the fact that they're able to finally get Mitchkov because you put all those. He's not coming in the NHL rumors to bed. I'd go B maybe because I really like. The guys that they resigned, they resigned a lot of their young guys, um, but yeah, they still gotta I, I, address. I, I, yeah, they, I, I, they gotta they gotta address Travis Konechny soon, whether he's staying or whether he's going. Um, yeah, I don't know. They got they got some things they got to address throughout the season, so we'll see how that goes. Yeah, that's something we'll talk about in a future episode, Travis Konechny. That is something I do want to discuss. Pittsburgh Penguins, uh, they. Resigned the Delkovich. They got Kevin Hayes, traded away Ryan Smith or Ry- Ryan Smith, Riley Smith. Ryan Smith's the owner of the Utah Hockey Club. Um, what else? I think it's about it. Um, I'd say Pittsburgh is a solid C, but I'm gonna be forgetting something here. Let me go look at their let me go look at their moves real quick. They brought in Aho and not the Aho from Carolina. They brought in Matt Greslick. I like that. Um, they brought in Anthony Bavillier. Not not terrible, but I don't think that gets them to a B. I think they're still a C, but I think they're a higher C than others. Yeah. Yeah. San Jose, I think you go A. I think they they nailed it out of the park with the draft picks, nailed it out of the park with the free agency. I think they're an A. Yeah, and they got Will Smith to sign his ELC, yeah. which is huge because a lot of people are saying he's staying in BC for another year. Mm-hmm. So they, they have a bright future at Seattle. Seattle, I think... What do you think? You could you could go B. You could also go C. I think I'm going C. I I think I'm I I want to go C for Seattle. I don't I like the Montour, but I hate the. Uh, also, they drafted Catton. Hmm. I think there's still. Oh, with one. I forgot about Berkeley. I don't know. What do you think? High C. Yeah, I think they're a high C. I think I put them, I put them above Pittsburgh. They're a high C. Um. Put him up in New York too. Uh St. Louis. St. Louis drafted that. Adam Yurichek. They signed Ryan Sutter today. I can't tell you what else they did though. That's about it. What is it? Hang I'm on. like hang on, let me go look. Um, they also I know we're like we're not professional this at all. Um, I apologize. Uh they got Radic Faxa from the stars. They signed Pierre Oliver Joseph. They signed Kapanen. I don't know. They didn't do a ton. They have I, they have salary room too. I don't know why they didn't try and attack it. I don't know. What do you think? C or D is where I'm at right now. I'd go D. Yeah, I think I go D too. Because there's Kapanen. still there's still so many holes on this roster. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what, what they're thinking. Tampa. Tampa got Gensel. They lost Stamkos, though. They re-signed Hedman to an extension. I think you... I feel like Stamkos leaving and Gensel coming in, does that subtract one another? Like I'd, I'd, say, that, another? I'd say that kind of cancels out. Um, I don't know, because Stamkos is your best player in it. In, but I, they did get younger, though, with Gensel. Who else did they... They get younger, they get them for longer because I don't think Stamkos was signing that long of a contract. I think three, four years was probably what he was probably looking after. He got three with Nashville. So um I don't know. I think I think Gensel's probably a little bit better because you, he's younger and you have him for longer. Um so maybe give the slight edge to them. 
the Sergachev deal they kind of had to. They had to make salary cap room, and they got a great return actually for him. Connor Geeky is going to be really solid in Tampa Bay. I'd move him. I'd. I don't know. What do you? Th- I'm thinking B maybe. Yeah, I'm thinking low B though. I'd put him in low B. <sighs> Toronto. Good Toronto. signings. They really worked on their back end this year, which was their biggest issue. I think they're a C. I don't like the OEL. I think it's an overpay. And yes, the Tanev is good. The Stolars is solid. But they said they were going to make big moves. Tanev is not a big move. Neither is Stolars. Although he's a Norcast legend. Neither is OEL. Neither is Hockenpo, who might not even play. I think I think they're a C. Oh, I don't I, like that. You know what? I, I will, I'll side with you on this one. Mainly because we were promised a move of the big four, and we never got it. Yeah, I, th- I, I, yeah, I'm going to see Utah. Now we're using the Arizona yo- logo for Utah, but they're they're Utah. Um, so what do you what do you what do you think? I think Utah made some good moves. They got Sergachev. They drafted Teach Ginla. They got Marino, who's a good four, who's a good top four defenseman. I think you go high B, low A. I- I, I was gonna say they're. I'd either go high A where they're just they're just kind of tickling A, or or you throw them in A. I don't know. I'm gonna say high B. I'd say high B. Yeah, I think they're a high B team. Yeah, Vancouver. Vancouver lost a lot. They brought in DeBrusque. About it. That's about all I can remember from them. They traded their first to Calgary, so they didn't get it. They didn't get a first round draft choice. Yeah. Good, um, good signings though. Yeah, they signed some good guys. I'm looking at I'm I'm looking at their their signings real quick here. Um I know they brought in the Brusque, Vincent DeHarnay, Danton Heinen. Um What do you think? What do you think? I think they're I think they're either B or C. We have a lot of Bs though. I'd throw them in C. Yeah, I think I'd throw them in C. Vegas. Vegas, I think is I, I think we might go D here. Yeah. Cause they lost a lot of guys. Yes, they got guys back, but they lost a lot of guys. I I I agree. They're also three mil over in salary cap. They gotta find something to dump. Yeah. All right, we're down to the last two teams here. We have the Washington Capitals. Carter, what Carter? I'll let you go first. Chikrin deal, Mangiapani deal. They got Dubois. What 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 are we thinking here for Washington? I'm in the A or B range. To be honest. We, a B range. Yeah. What are so you? my my thing, I, I, my thing is the fact they are 14 million over in salary. That's true. I think they'll move. They'll have to move someone. <laughs> so they'll have to. Well, actually, I guess Backstrom will go on LTIR. That'll clear it up, and then they'll be about five mil over. I think Oshie um, might go too. Really? He might retire. Maybe. But he's got one year left. I don't think. I don't think you want to go out with one year left on your deal. He's gonna. He's finishing it out. Who are? But he he has yeah. had injury problems, so. I think I think they're kind of banking on Backstrom and Oshi being done after this year, so it's going to depend on that. Because if not, if they stay, then they had a B plus A off season. If they if uh, Oshi doesn't, we're going to be looking at this and being like, "What the fuck did Washington do bringing in an eight million dollar guy when they don't have the salary cap?" Dubois, Dubois is a risk. He is. He's a big risk. He's a risk that's either going to pay the fuck off or he is. You just fucked yourself. He went from a. He went from a good player to a not so great year in L.A. So I don't know. I, I don't know. I think no left to win a peg, buddy. I, I think you put them in B, high B right now. I'd go middle B. To argue A. It doesn't really matter, but you could go. Go B, maybe. Yeah, I think I go B for Washington. 
Uh, Winnipeg Jets, the final team on this list. I'll let Carter take the wheel here. Are the first F on the board? You think so? No. Uh, I don't know. I'd go D. Yeah, they they do much. This team, this team has some holes that they had to fill, and they really didn't. We lost defensemen. Yeah, and we didn't really add much. We signed Logan Stanley. That should be an F right there. Um. Sorry, this podcast has a long history of hating on Logan Stanley, but yeah, it's a it's a known thing on this on this pod. But yeah, I I'd put them in D. I think they're a D. I I I wasn't a huge fan of the moves they made. Um, they didn't make a lot as is. I like the Gustafson signing. The Stanley one's ridiculous. You're paying him more than a million. That's insane. You're paying him more than league minimum is insane. Um, but yeah, so that is our off season tier rankings. Uh, we hope you enjoyed. If you are first watching this, make sure to follow the podcast and subscribe down below. We would greatly appreciate it. And that will conclude episode number 62 of the Nordcast. Uh